The Georgetown Hoyas will be hosting the SME Mustangs on Saturday, December 15th on Fox Sports 1. The game will be played at noon and at the Capital One Arena. So, SMU's all offense, no defense, or 24th in offense efficiency, 5th in offensive rebounding percentage at 38%. They get 12.8 assists for every 10 turnovers. That's top 50 in that category. Their defense is ranked 202nd in defense efficiency. They allow 51% from 2 and 48, or sorry, 38%. From three, 45 percent from the field, they you can really shred the defense. They allow a lot of assists, 15.4 assists per game. They do force 14 turnovers. Although not, SMU is not a great shooting team. In the TCU game, they got 20 offensive rebounds, but they only made four of 25 from three. So they have SMU. Their offensive rebounds collective. It's collective. Jimmy Witt. J Jimmy Witt is their best off. Is six four, but he's a great offensive rebounder. The SMU has four guys who can who have over 20 offensive rebounds. Jamal McMurray, seven or sorry, 37 of 89 from three, and White has 41 assists to 15 turnovers. So SMU has a lot of horses offensively. Georgetown just needs to get these guys in foul trouble, so they and block out. So if SMU can get called for the over the back fouls on the offensive end, that would definitely give Georgetown an advantage. I don't want these offensive rebounds in this game. For too long, just although Georgetown has size to offensive rebound, Sesame has a six-four guy, a top offensive rebounder, but Georgetown has the size, and Georgetown did a good job in Syracuse with the rebounding, with the exception of a ties battle free throw, they didn't rebound. That's still driving me crazy, but Georgetown can win this game. SMU is not a great defensive team. SMU is around. SMU is still a sub-100 team overall, so they're in the American Athletic Conference, but Georgetown should be able to win this game. Assuming they do all the things they can, they should be doing. They just need to shred this SMU defense without turning the ball over too much. Mac McClung, that three-pointer they took against uh, Syracuse with like 20 seconds on the shot clock, they got them pulled from that game. So you just can't afford to take dumb shots like that.